cancer centers are all about discovering and then turning those discoveries into new patient treatments. Cancer center designation is a research designation, but it also reflects the fact that you are taking care of your patients at the highest possible level. And to make that happen, we need to become a comprehensive cancer center. A big part of becoming a designated comprehensive center is increasing the depth and breadth of your program. And we've increased our research portfolio by nearly $20 million on an annual basis since 2012. We also continue to be leaders in terms of new therapeutic phase one clinical trials and utilizing KU discoveries and moving them into the clinic. And that is also a critical part of this designation. A great indication of how far we've come in this effort is the fact that we're now putting on nearly 10 times as many patients on clinical trials as when we began this effort. And I can think of no more important achievement for our cancer center and nothing that's more impactful and beneficial to our patients. I found out I had cancer when I had surgery. They detected the cancer about six years ago and uh, kind of hit me pretty hard. I had conventional chemotherapy right at the start, the traditional therapies for the type of cancer that I have. But eventually that traditional therapy stopped working and uh, we had to do something different. I looked into the clinical trials that were available because my doctor had recommended that and was lucky enough to qualify for two here at the Clinical Research Center. When you get diagnosed with cancer, your future is very uncertain. I have a lot of things going on in my life. I've got nine children. But participating in the clinical trials gives me a level of optimism to look forward to what's next. So if anything can be done, I'm confident that it will be here at the KU Cancer Center. Our cancer center has established a national reputation in excelling in the discovery and development of new treatments for cancer, in part through the efforts of the Drug Discovery, Delivery, and Experimental Therapeutics Program. Over the course of the past six years, we've partnered with industry, academia, government, and disease philanthropy organizations to advance 10 promising new treatments to cancer patients throughout North America. One of the projects that we're quite excited about, that we feel really is a poster child for our program, is advancing a promising new treatment for bladder cancer. Bladder cancer patients have been crying out for new treatments, better treatments, for over the past 50 years. So our team has answered this call, and we're rapidly advancing a new treatment to bladder cancer patients demonstrating our ability to translate laboratory discoveries into new treatments is critically important to comprehensive cancer center designation. The Drug Discovery, Delivery, and Experimental Therapeutics Program does just this. KU Cancer Center is competitive with any cancer center around the country. Comprehensive Cancer Center designation will emphasize prevention, and of course prevention is a much better way to treat cancer than to have to treat the disease itself. And that certainly is going to be a great benefit to all the citizens of Kansas City. Kansas City gains a lot by achieving Comprehensive Cancer Center designation. Not only will we provide the best patient care anywhere in the country, but we'll also be at the forefront of research. Comprehensive Cancer Center designation is really about the University of Kansas taking its place alongside the greatest cancer centers in the world. And it's a recognition of the fact that we have a program that is sufficient depth and breadth that stands alongside any cancer center you want to name.